Hello and welcome back to Tom's Tat. Before we get into today's boot sale footage, I just want to announce the CEX voucher giveaway that I'm doing. I have been promising to do this for a while now. It's taken me ages because I've been really busy setting up my new eBay business. So I do apologize for that for taking so long, but the time has finally come. So up for grabs is this 96 pound CEX voucher. If you're wanting a chance to win the voucher, all you need to do to enter, you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You need to follow me on Instagram. The link will be down in the description because I will need to contact the winner via Instagram to get their address and details and things. And then also you need to comment on this video, the word win. It needs to be the word win on its own. If you do want to add additional comments about the video, about anything else, please leave a separate comment. What I'll do, I'll let this competition run for about a week and then I'm going to use a random comment selector. I'll select a winner and then I'll announce that winner in one of my videos in about a week's time. Now, I was originally doing this giveaway to celebrate a thousand subscribers, but because it's taken me so long, I'm actually on about 2000 now. So I just want to give a massive, massive thank you to every one of you for subscribing, liking, commenting and supporting the channel. It's really starting to grow now and I cannot thank you enough. So I wish you all the best of luck with the competition. And without further ado, let's get into the boot sale footage. I suppose you've got any video game stuff, have you? Oh, we do have a bit, but it's not very bad. It's yeah, bad, really. no worries. Cheers, mate. Okay. Uh, this one's These are the only ones we have. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Um, How much did you want on these, mate? Super. Good, Thanks ever so much. Thank you, no worries. Um, all of them. Oh, I don't know. How much are they each? Oh, well. Oh, you're saying £3. Yeah. Did you do two for £5? Pound? Yeah. I'll leave that one. Take them two, please. There you go, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. You all right? All right, mate. How much are your games? Um, Melissa, what are you doing on the games? Yeah, do £5, pound, five pound a game? Did you do three pound on that? Do four? Uh, three fifty. Or oh, we're just just yeah. it'll go. Yeah, no, that's fine. Take that, please. Cheers, mate. Can you join your watches at all? How much is this? Did you take a pound for it? Yeah. yeah. Take that, please. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, jammy. <laughs> jammy. He's got a PSP. Uh, How much? Go, um, Did you want those nah. the top of the blue What did you pay for all that, then? Yeah. <sighs> Need to sell. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the games are in there. Yeah, they are. Yeah, some with some with manual, some with open. Looks like a loft clear out. That does. How much you got on this bike, mate? Uh, which one? The Holdsworth one. Sixty. Uh, Take Faye? Take 50. In there. Take 50. But I can't go below that. Yeah. Okay. I'll have a think about that. Okay. Cheers, mate. Morning, mate. Morning. I suppose you've got any video game stuff? No. Uh, that's interesting because I've got a few at home. Have you? Thought, you know, what sort of stuff? I'm getting them ready to go on eBay. Yeah. Pretty old school stuff actually. Is I've got it? Some Sega Mega Drive games and all that stuff. Okay. Do you know how much you want from? Oh, I haven't had a look through them yet actually, mate. Yeah. I'd be interested to buy them if. Yeah. Um. I'll take your number down maybe. Send me some photos and. Car. Oh, oh brilliant. Or contact me cool. by uh, Facebook. As yeah, well, yeah. I have that. That's my my development hub as I call it. Cool. So, uh, Cool, I'll give you a text then. Cheers, mate, appreciate that. How much did you want on that metal detector? 40. 
Right, just coming out, so you need the apron. Okay, yeah. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Garrett Ace 250. Do you know if this is working or not? Should have some batteries in it, yeah. Do you know how to turn it on? Power. Sorry. Should you take 30 for it? Literally just got it out. I'd like to hold out. Yeah. 35? Yeah, cheers. There you go. Thank you. How much is your Xbox, mate? 20 quid, mate. There you go, sir. Okay. Would you sell any of these controllers separate? Yeah, how many in there? There's three in there. There's uh, four in there. How many do you want? I don't know, how much are they? You've got two for not five if you want. Do you do three for seven? Yeah. Yeah? Take them please mate. What about this Xbox? Is that? That's all there as well. Is that 20 as well? So would you do a ten hour on that one, would you? Well, that Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Take that as well, please. Seventeen, yeah. Cheers, mate. What's what your collection sort of now? I just like. Well, I bought loads of them off you. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we used to sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought loads of them. How much is your controller? Uh, that's ten. Yeah, I went to that a bunch of times before the lockdown started. Yeah. Would you take four for that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Dartboard. Uh, eight pounds. Sir. Yeah. Sure, you wouldn't take thirty on that bike. Right. Yeah. I'll tell you what. My absolute lowest, forty-five. And that's a steal. I've had five people today like, oh my god. Uh. Well, if you throw that in, I'll give you forty-five. Cool, man. Yeah. Cool. There you go, mate. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Cheers, mate. How much for those, mate? Uh, five. I'd give you a couple of quid for them. No, 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 it's probably worth more than that. If you need them, you'll buy them. Don't need them that much. Cheers, mate. How much are these games, mate? Depending on which one you want. Um, what would you want for all of them? Um, for the lot of them, I'd go 20. I'm just trying to add it up in my head what uh, CEX have offered me for it. You take 15? Can't, because cause CEX will offer me more, just even for second hand. Yeah. Uh, have, a, have a look and... Let me check on it. How about 18? I've got to stick with the 20. I've got, to, I've got a target to meet with the missus. If I go back with less... And, uh, yeah. It, it, it ain't worth that extra two quid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll have them. Uh, good man. Good I do the same thing as well. You know, I've gone to the pub from time to time, and you don't ask, you don't get, do you? Yeah, that's it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.
much of your games, mate? Uh, what, are you having all of them or are you having... Nah, just... I don't know. Uh, Have a look, see what you want first. Yeah. Uh, probably just that one. Fiber. Nah, that's right. Cheers. Five minutes later. I wanted that PSP game, but... How much for the games, mate? Five weeks. Five weeks. Walking CX, I pay £1.50 for that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a £1.50 game. That's a £2.50 game. It's a £3 game. Okay. Nothing for me, unfortunately. Oh, okay. If you take a quid for that top one now, I'd have that off you, haven't I? Yeah, go on then. Yeah? Here you go, mate. Um, Cheers, buddy. I might have... Uh, might be worth scanning them films, you know, Resident Evil. I mean, if the horror films, some of the horror films can be worth money. Some of the popular horror films. So I'll scan them for you so you know what they're worth, you know? Yeah, go on, mate. That's three quid, that one. You see, that one, they sell for £2.50. Okay. They'll give you 80p voucher, 40p cash for a bit. Unbelievable. Would you do that one for a quid? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I've got your missus, so have a look at that. Yeah. What app is it? It's a C C C -E -X. C -E -X app. C-E-X. app, okay. Yeah, it's really good. You can find out what stuff's sort of worth. What stuff's worth, okay. Yeah. I'll get her to do, uh, do that on my phone. All the best for you, fella. Nice one, Thank mate. You. Cheers. How much is that, mate? A five pound, dude. The foot pass. There we go, really well. Oh, now, sorry. How much is that? I'll buy it. Don't worry about it. No, no, but how much did you no, have on it? You, it? No problem. No, seriously, what? No, no, don't worry about it. I can't just break it and not buy it. No, that's all right. It no, please, how much was it? No, 50 Yeah, no. Sorry about that. No worries, mate. Right, you yeah, it's free there. Right. Oh, no, nice. no, 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 keep it. No, I was yeah. only going to ask a pound anyhow. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Cheers. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. It's good job you didn't have 100 quid on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was priceless. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, take care. Cheers. Sure you wouldn't take two pounds for them cables? Yeah, she wants to Yeah? Cool. Oh, here we go. That one. And that one as well, yeah. That's it. Cheers, mate. Here you go. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. How much you got on that? Um, I was thinking of 20, but I could do 15. Do ten. I think I've only got a tenner left. Do you have any games for it? Yeah. Because most Lovely. times the games Cheers, are worth more than the console. Yeah. And a lot of people have the console and just need games. Just need games for it. Yeah. How much is that, mate? Pound. Yeah. I'll take that one, please. Yeah. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Thank you. You won't believe this. Guess how much that trades me for? How much? Seven quid. No way. No way. <laughs> no. Black Ops 2, isn't it? That's, it's the only one that's actually ever worth anything. Yeah. So I picked up some pretty decent bits today. Let's go through what we got. So the first thing I bought was these two PS4 games here. I paid £5 for these and I'm going to put those on eBay and I should hopefully get about £10 each for those. Next up was this Minecraft game also on the PS4. I paid £4 for that and I should hopefully get about £12 on eBay for that one. Then I picked up this um, vintage Scrabble game for a pound. I don't know anything about these. I didn't look it up. It just looked vintage. It was in really good condition. I've had a look inside and it's all complete. It's all in there. So I thought for a pound, yeah, I may as well pick that up. It's got to be worth more than that. Hopefully I should be able to get about £12 for that as well on eBay. Then I picked up this Garrett Ace 250 metal detector. She did originally want 40 for this. I managed to get her down to 35. I have tested it and it does all work. As far as metal detectors go, it's nothing special. It's not like an amazing one, but it's like a beginner's sort of one, but it's quite a good beginner's one. And I should hopefully be able to get about 170 for that one. So for 35 quid, I'm really happy with that. 
Then the next pickup was these three Xbox 360 controllers. There's two wireless ones. One of them has got the battery cover on it. The other one doesn't, but that doesn't matter because I've got loads of spares of those. And then the other one was this wired one here. It's also got the breakaway cable as well. Now on eBay, I should be able to get about 15 each for these two and then 20 to 25 on that one. I paid him seven pounds for all three of them. And then off that same guy, I also bought this 360 console. That one came with a controller as well. That one's also missing the back. It does have all the wires and everything. The console itself is in excellent condition. I don't normally pick these up, but because it was in such good condition, I thought I would pick it up. It is one of the preferred models as well. Um, the motherboard inside is called a Jasper motherboard, and they're well known for being the most reliable sort of version. They don't often get red ring and things like that. So I paid £10 for that and should hopefully be able to get about 30 for it on eBay. Then I picked up this PlayStation 1 controller. I'm always on the lookout for these because I'm always buying consoles with controllers missing. So for £4 I was happy to pick that up. What I'll do, I'll bundle that with a console. I've got loads of consoles on their own at the moment. So that'll go with one of them and I'll put that on eBay. Normally I've been selling them about £35 for a console with an analogue controller. Then I picked up these four Nintendo Switch games. I paid £20 for all four of them. Now I've looked up the prices on eBay and if I was to sell all of them separately on eBay, by the time I paid fees and postage and stuff, I'd actually get less than what CEX will give me. So even though I'm needing to put stuff on eBay more these days, obviously because I'm doing this as a full-time job now, these ones will still be going to CEX. I'm going to get a £50 voucher for those. And I worked it out. By the time I've sold them separately on eBay, it comes to about, about the same. So to save me all the work of cleaning them, testing them, photoing them, listing them, posting them, and then having them possibly returned, I may as well just trade them in. And then right at the end, I got these two, well, it's a game and a film for the PSP. When I found him originally, he wanted £5 each, which I wasn't going to be paying that. But then I walked around again with my mate, and then he actually showed him the prices on CEX. Because he did that, I actually managed to pick these up for a pound each. Now this one, I should be able to get about £9 for that one on eBay. And then I looked this one up as well. CEX only give a £2 voucher for this. But I looked it up on eBay and apparently this, this film's quite rare on the PSP. So I should hopefully be able to get about £15 for that. Then I picked up these two official Sony cables for either a PS1 or a PS2. I'm always on the lookout for these as well. Again, because I'm always getting consoles without them. So if I can pick them up for a 50p or a pound, I always will. He originally wanted £5 for these, which was ridiculous, really. No one's paying that at car boot sale. So I said no. When you have a deal like that and it doesn't go through, it's always worth going back at the very end of the day and then offering him the same amount he was originally willing to pay. Because by the end of the day, if they're still not sold, people just want rid of stuff. So he did say yes in the end, and I got them for a pound each. And then also, right at the end of the day, I picked up this Wii console. It's in very good condition. It's also GameCube compatible is always good came with two controllers both in really good condition and then it came with this board thing as well i got this for 10 pounds he said he was originally trying to charge 20 and it was still there at the end of the day which again this is why it's always worth walking around more than once because you end up getting bargains like this i should be able to get about 40 quid for that with the board altogether. and then i got this call of duty black ops 2 game on the pc now i was quite surprised about this because PC games, I never bother with them. But I know that Black Ops 2 trades in for decent money on uh, the 360. So I scanned it, and then it was coming up as £7, which shocked me, really, for a PC game. But yeah, I paid a pound for that. Should be able to get, again, about £12 on eBay for that. Or if I took it to CEX, they give £7. And then last, but definitely not least, was this Holdsworth bicycle. Now, I've done a bit of research. And this is from the early 1960s. It's called a Holdsworth Cyclone. And it's all totally original, apart from the saddle. It would have originally had um, a Brooks leather saddle on there. But everything else, all the paintwork and all the decals, it's all original. Some of these parts alone are worth really good money. But yeah, he originally wanted £60 for that, which I didn't really want to pay because I wasn't sure at the time. But I eventually managed to get him down to 45 and then threw the dartboard in for free pretty much as well. Now, 
As I say, I've done some research and I should easily be able to get about 250 pounds for this. So 45 quid into 250 at least, maybe even 300 because it's in such good condition. And then the dartboard all day long, 20 quid for that. So all in all, another really successful day. Quite pleased with all the bits that I've picked up. Should hopefully be a nice amount of profit. So the things that I'm going to take to CEX today will just be the Switch games. I paid 20 pounds for those and that should give me a 50 pound voucher. And then for everything else I'm going to put on eBay, in total I spent £126 and that should convert into a rough estimated value of about £658. But by the time I've deducted all my fees and the money I paid for everything, the final profit should come to roughly about £450. So really, really pleased with that. I just want to wish everyone good luck with the competition. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, comment the word win below, and I wish you all the best of luck. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.